Welcome back to Refresh. We're going to start standing at the top of our mat. We've got another heating practice for us to do. So a nice energising, flowing sequence. So you're going to start with your feet hip width apart, spreading the toes nice and wide, placing them back down. Drawing the shoulders together, palms facing forward and just relaxing the shoulders. You're just going to draw your eyes closed here. We're just going to set a bit of an intention for our practice. Check in with our breath before starting right away with some nice heating flow. Just connecting in with your breath. Inviting the ribcage to expand the belly to rise as you inhale. Just allowing a gentle release as you exhale. So maybe today in our practice we want to set the intention of pushing boundaries. That doesn't mean pushing too far pushing our bodies past its limit, but just pushing, pushing boundaries with our breath, with what our mind tells us that we're capable of. From here, you're just gonna gently bring the eyes open. Step the feet mat width apart so that your toes turn out. Bring your hands together in prayer. Allow the shoulders still just to be relaxed. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, we're just going to squat down into Malasana. If you struggle to come all the way down, maybe you've got a small stool or a couple of cushions or a block or something you can put underneath your bum to make it more accessible. If your heels are lifting up, maybe you've got a folded up blanket you can put your heels on and that might also help. As we're here, I'm pushing the palms together. I'm pushing my knees into my elbows and my elbows into my knees to have this nice opening effect so my knees aren't caving in. My tailbone is drawing down and I'm lifting up on the inner arches of my feet. Body and breath are relaxed here. From here, we're gonna inhale the arms up and exhale, standing up straight, bringing the arms down. So we're gonna move into a flow. Inhale, arms up, bum down, Malasana. Exhale, standing up. Inhale, arms up, bum down. And exhale, powering up, following your breath. Nice steady movement, weight in the heels. Otherwise you might become a little wobbly like I did first time. Belly button drawn to the spine. So we're beginning to engage our abdominals here. A powerful exhale shooting us up. Beginning to bring that heart rate up a little bit, beginning to breathe some heat. And now we're going to move a little bit quicker, as we've said before. Inhale, arms up, exhale, power up. Inhale, down, exhale, up. Use that breath. Maybe now, as you exhale, you power the exhale out of the mouth. Keeping the abdominals drawn towards the spine, protecting that lower back as we shoot up for five, four, three, two, one. Hands down in prayer in the Latin pose. Take a deep inhale, steady exhale through the nose. 
From here, you're going to plant your hands down. Step the right foot forward by the left to our plank position. Plank on our knees if you would like. Drawing everything up towards the midline. Pushing up out of the shoulders. Take an inhale. Exhale, push back downward facing dog. Pedaling the legs out here in our first downward facing dog. Really feeling the stretch through the feet, through the backs of the legs. Lengthening through the spine. And finding some stillness, heels draw down, legs don't need to be straight. Inhale, roll forward, plank position. And we're going to step our right foot back up, Malasana foot positioning, stepping the left, coming back down Malasana. We're going to step back to plank, left foot, followed by the right, plank position here. Take an inhale, exhale, push the hips up and back down with facing dog. Inhale, roll forward plank, exhale, step the left, followed by the right, Malasana. Right side step back, plank position, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward plank, exhale, right, followed by the left, Malasana, belly to back. Inhale, step back, left foot first, plank position. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, left, followed by the right. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, stand. Inhale, down. Exhale, step back, plank. Inhale, in your plank, changing the breath. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, step forward, relax. Inhale, arms up, exhale, stand. Inhale, down, exhale, hands plant. Inhale, plank, left foot leads, and exhale, stay here. Inhale, down, dog, exhale, plank. Inhale, step forward, exhale, molasses. Inhale, arms up, exhale, power to stand, belly to spine. Inhale, down. Exhale, hands plant. Inhale, step back plank. Exhale here. Three breaths. Inhale here. Exhale down. Inhale plank. Exhale molasses. Inhale arms. Exhale stand. Inhale down, exhale, plant the palm. Inhale, plank and hold. Inhale here, exhale down. Inhale, roll forward, plank. Exhale, step together and step forward. Inhale, arms, exhale, molasses. Inhale down, exhale, hands. This time you've got the option to hop or step. Take an inhale, exhale, hop or step back, plank position, three breaths here. Heels back, crown of the head forward, shoulders, elbows, wrists stacked on top of each other. Inhale here, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, reach the chest forward and this time exhale, lower all the way to the ground. Forearms down, elbows underneath the shoulders, spread the fingers wide, shoulder blades draw together. Push the tops of the feet down into the earth and inhale, lift the chest, sphinx pose. Unclench the bum, but draw the hips down into the floor. Opening into the chest. Use this opportunity to steady your breath, maybe get a slightly deeper breath through the body. Okay, from here you're going to tuck your toes, belly button is drawn to the spine, beginning to lift around the upper body, 
lifting up into forearm height. Remember, we can be on our knees here as well. From here, you're going to begin to lift the hips, walk the feet forward, dolphin pose. So it's like a downward facing dog on your forearm. Keep reaching the shoulders over the forearm, walking the legs in as far as you can. Try not to collapse in the shoulder girdle, so lifting up out of the shoulders. Take an inhale, exhale, slowly walk it back, forearm plank. Inhale here, exhale, lowering the body, untucking the toes, sphinx pose. Tucking the toes, engaging the core, pushing up out of the shoulders. So we're beginning to round the body here, coming up into our forearm plank. Belly drawn to spine, draw the inner thighs together, take an inhale. Exhale, lifting the hips up, walking the feet forward, dolphin pose. Steady breath here, walking the feet back, forearm plank. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you're carefully going to begin to lower the hips and tuck the toes. Open the chest, sphinx pose. One more round here. Begin to lift the hips, rounding through the upper body, forearm plank. Lift the hips, walk the feet in, dolphin pose. Walking the feet slowly back, belly drawn to spine as you keep the shoulders reaching forward. And then lowering the hips down. This time bringing the whole chest down, hands by the ribcage. Tops of the feet draw into the floor, elbows squeeze together and inhale, lifting up cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, round forward plank. And exhale, stepping forward. Malasana pose. Three up downs in our Malasana. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, power up. Inhale, one more. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, plant the hands down. Inhale, step or hop plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, round forward plank. And exhale, lower to the floor. Elbows, forearms come down. Inhale, sphinx. Exhale, plank. Inhale, dolphin. Heels draw down, chest reaches forward, shoulders over elbows. And then walk back, plank. Inhale here. You can either exhale lower to the ground or you can power yourself up high, plank. Inhale here, whether you're on the ground or plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look hands. Exhale, round forward plank. Inhale here. Exhale, step Malasana. Inhale, arms up three times. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale, arms up. Exhale, down. Inhale here. Exhale, step or hop back plank. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. You can either exhale lower to the ground or come straight to your forearm plank from here. Coming into our forearm plank, take an inhale, exhale, lift the hip, walk the feet forward, dolphin pose. Inhale here and then exhale, walk back forearm plank. Either lowering yourself down or pushing yourself straight back to plank. Inhale wherever you are, exhale downward facing duck. Inhale, plank. Exhale, step back, Malasana. Three breaths here. Okay, planting the hands down. Take an inhale. Exhale, step or hop back, plank position. Inhale here. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high. As you exhale, you're going to step the foot between the hands. We're going to transition to a side lunge. So you're going to turn the right toes to face the long edge of the mat. And then turn, being mindful of your knee, 
your left toes to face the long edge of the mat. You're either gonna be up here in our side lunge, or maybe you can bring the bum down, keeping the heel on the floor, lifting the right toes. You might wanna have something, if your heel's lifting up, a little folded blanket or something, underneath this left heel. If you can, bring in your hands together in prayer. Belly button drawn to spine, my chest is lifted, working nicely into the inner thigh here. Deep, cleansing breath. Enjoying the little rest. And then we're gonna walk our hands over, placing the right foot down, coming to the other side. So we're either lifted with our chest still reaching forward, weight in the heels, or maybe we're coming down, bringing the hands together in prayer. Relaxing the shoulders. We're gonna move through a little flow each side. So just walking the hands, keeping the chest lifted. Just opening up into those inner thighs. time you get back to the left or the first side you started on. You're going to reach the left arm up to the side. Inhale the right arm high. So my tricep, outer tricep is pushing into that knee. The knee is pushing into the tricep. Take an inhale. Exhale, lower down, walking over other side. So my outer tricep, I said inner, I meant outer before. Outer triceps coming and pushing into the knee. Inhale, left arm high. Okay, bringing the hands down. We're gonna walk ourselves back, but this time, the left toes are facing the front of the mat, the right toes stay where they are. Bending into that left knee. Inhale, sweeping the right arm round and up. Warrior two. So you should be familiar with warrior two right now. Weight in the knife edge of that back foot, lift up on the inner arches and breathe. Flip the left palm, inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Inhale, step back, plank and hold. Inhale here. Exhale, push the hips up and back. Okay, spreading the fingers nice and wide, pushing into the knuckles and the tips of the fingers. Then to begin to walk your feet forward a little bit so that your shoulders are above your wrists. So reaching that chest forward. Belly button drawn to spine so we're not arching our back for a nice strong torso. We've got some options here. We can either just gently lift one leg at a time, bending the knee heel, coming in towards the bum. Making sure that we're not leaning back. We want those shoulders to be above the wrist, pushing up out of the shoulders. So you're really pushing away, almost like hollowing out, knitting the ribs together, belly to spine. So we're either just lightly tapping the feet up, or if we want three on each side, we're gently hopping off the ground. So bringing the foot up, reaching the chest forward, and three hops more effort for me on this side and then walking back down when facing dog excellent inhale right leg up exhale step it forward inside we're going to come to our got our low lunge on this side so turning the left toes to face the long edge of the mat turning the right toes to face the long edge of the mat and bringing the bum down or as down as is comfortable for you. We're gonna work straight away, flowing from each side. We don't often move this way, so it can sometimes feel a little bit tight. Excellent. Once more to each side. Excellent. And then we're gonna come to our low lunge, so turning the right toes to face, not a low lunge, sorry, worry to, right toes to face forward, bend into that right leg, inhale, sweeping the arms up, warrior two, 
this side. Relaxing the shoulders, looking over the right middle finger. Stay with me, we are nearly there about. Flipping the right palm, inhale, reverse warrior, and exhale, cartwheeling the hands down. Stepping back to plank. Inhale here. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay in your downward facing dog if you want to, or we can practice our little hamstand hops, walking the feet forward. So making sure, really important our foundations are there, making sure you spread the fingers nice and wide, pushing into the knuckles and the tips of the fingers and reach the chest forward. Shoulders are over the wrists. Belly buckle draws to spine, so I'm really almost rounding my body. And then we're either lifting the feet up, stepping one foot, or if you want, we can lightly hop both feet up off the floor. Trying to keep that engagement of the core. One more time. And then walking back, downward facing dog. Excellent. Inhale, come forward plank. And exhale, step the feet forward into our malasana here. Three breaths. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, power up. Draw the elbows back. Inhale down. Exhale up one more time. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale, plant the hands. Inhale, bring the weight into the hands. And exhale, step or hop back plank position. Inhale here. And exhale, downward facing duck. Okay. So here, we are going to do a little bit of core work and work our way into crow if we want to. So we're gonna round forward into our plank position, belly to spine, take an inhale. As you exhale, reach the chest forward, bring the right knee up to the right, outer tricep by as high as you can to the shoulder, the armpit. Inhale back, exhale forward. Inhale back, exhale, reach the chest forward. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Excellent. Come back to plank. Lower the knees, drop the hips towards the heels, arms behind you, forehead to the floor. If you have the tops of your hands down on the floor, and then you're just moving from the wrist, bringing the hand up. Just moving those wrists in the opposite way. Okay, coming to sit up. So we've got the option here to either carry on with that or if you want to try working with our crow, we can give crow a little bit of a go. So you can either do maybe the handstand hops again if you don't want to do crow, or coming back into that core work of reaching the chest forward, drawing the knee up by the armpits. If we are going to give crow a go, just coming up somewhere on your mat, doesn't have to be at the top, to be fair. Okay, you might want to get, if you've got a bolster, or a block or a couple of blocks. You might want to get those, just pop them in front of you, or simply two pillows or two cushions. Just if you are a little nervous about for, for, uh, ugh, for folding forward, folding forward, falling forward, um, then it just provides a little bit of cushion, especially if you're not used to doing crow. We're then gonna plant our hands down, just as we would in plank, so about shoulder width apart, spreading the fingers nice and wide, pushing down into the knuckles and the tips of the fingers. Okay, I'm gonna bring my hips up, and I'm gonna bring my chest forward so that my shoulders, elbows, and wrists are in line. Walking my feet a little bit closer, I'm gonna pin my knees 
by my armpit, top of my tricep. So just kind of wherever is comfy. And from here, I'm just really trying to push my knees in. So as I push my knees in, I'm just finding a little bit of pressure with my arms, maybe just to push out, but really squeezing in. From here, which is where you might want your cushions, you're just gonna to begin to lean forward. So if we've not done crow before, this is where we're at. Weight is in the hands or in the arms, leaning forward, my knees are squeezing into my arms. And I'm just gently rocking forwards, holding for a few breaths. So we could be working with that, just holding maybe for a breath, maybe for two to three breaths. If we want to try and bring the feet up, then squeezing the knees in, leaning forward, and then maybe we lift one leg at a time. So belly to spine, keep reaching forward. The whole time those knees are really tracking it. If we're feeling good with one, maybe we then want to try bringing both. Belly to spine, hugging those knees in, using that core strength, and then floating back down, bringing the arms up, the hands up, and just giving the wrists a little bit of a rotate. So we're gonna do that just one more time. If you don't want to, then just make your way into a child pose, or do any of the previous exercises that we have done, which will all help build strength for core. For core, for crow. Build strength in your core, but it is for crow. Oh my God, it's one of those days. Hands down, spreading those fingers nice and wide. Reaching forward so you know that your weight is balanced evenly in your hands. Slight bend in the elbows, bringing those knees in, hugging the knees in, reaching forward and try one foot at a time. And then coming back down when you are ready. Making your way into an all fours position. You're gonna inhale the left arm out to the side and up. And exhale, spread the arm underneath. So you're coming onto your left cheek, left shoulder. I don't quite have room to put my hand all the way down. Make sure you're drawing that right hip back so you're lengthening through the spine. And maybe you want to reach the right arm forward, drawing down on that armpit. Taking some deep breaths here, just relaxing. We're gonna bring in to cool the body down. Ready for our Tavasana. Bringing the right arm back in, pushing back all fours, other side. Inhale, right arm up to the side and up. And exhale, thread the arm underneath. Coming onto the right shoulder, the right cheek. Left hip draws back this time and maybe you want to reach the left arm forward. Excellent job today, guys. Not about you, but I'm certainly a warm. And then coming back all fours, you're gonna come up to kneeling, coming into our camel pose. Um, if you're tired, if you're done, do just make your way down into Sebastian. We've just got a couple more exercises, or if you just wanna sit this one out, your lower back's not feeling it, then come into a child's pose. So bringing the hands down onto the lower back, fleshy parts of the bum, drawing the shoulders together, drawing the elbows together. Inhale, begin to lift the head, reach the hips forward, and exhale, folding back. Unclench the bum. Inhale, draw all the breath up into the chest, and exhale, bending back. Maybe finding the feet if you want, maybe not. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, sink the hips back. Arms forward, coming down. Child's pose. Okay, bring yourself up to seated. We're gonna come just into a baby spinal twist. Take the left hand over to the right knee. Inhale, the right arm up. And as you exhale, twisting to the right, 
bring the right hand just behind you gently on the floor. Inhale, think about drawing the length from the base of the spine and exhale, twisting a little deeper. Inhale, come back to center and exhale to the other side. Inhale, center. Then we're going to make our way onto our backs, coming into our sabbatical. On the way there, just drawing the knees into the chest, giving yourself a little bit of a rock from side to side. And then when you're ready, popping on any layers that you might want, maybe turning off some lights if you want it to be a little bit darker. Allowing the feet to roll apart, the palms to face up, arms wide. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And out through the mouth. Once more, inhale through the nose. Exhale. Allowing the breath just to flow naturally. Enjoying this calm, this surrender. as always if you do have more time please stay here for as long as you need otherwise just gently batting the eyes open rolling over onto one side into the fetal position you can bring yourself to sit up bringing your hands together in prayer at heart center and bowing your head bowing towards yourself Thanking your body for all that it has achieved. Thanking yourself for pushing some boundaries, staying with your practice. From my heart to your heart, namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got as warm as I did. If you do like my videos, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. I really, really do appreciate it. See you next time.